हेलो हाय एवरीवन दिस इज वर्षा एंड वेलकम टू द क्यू ए वर्ल्ड इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन माय एक्सपीरियंस एक्चुअली समटाइम्स आई फील लाइक पीपल्स आर गेटिंग टू मच कंफ्यूजन अबाउट रिग्रेशन टेस्टिंग एंड री टेस्टिंग व्हाट एक्जैक्टली वी हैव टू फोकस इन रिग्रेशन एंड वॉट एक्जैक्टली वी हैव टू फोकस इन री टेस्टिंग सो टूडे आई केम अप विद दिस सोल्यूशन लाइक वॉट एक्जैक्टली द री टेस्टिंग वॉट एक्जैक्टली द रिग्रेशन टेस्टिंग वैन वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द रिग्रेशन वैन वी हैव टू परफॉर्म री टेस्टिंग so uh, let's start and uh, uh, understand the difference between retesting and regression testing regression versus retesting yeah regression testing so what is, what is regression testing basically regression testing is the process of testing changes to an application to ensure that the existing application still works with the new changes so basically uh, when we when any developer fixes any defect or uh, any new functionality added in that uh, uh, software so the existing functionality should be working fine or we can say uh, like uh, unchanged code should be work properly that is the main meaning of regression testing next point is this testing recommended before every release or after completing every sprint QA should focus on these three test cases test cases which have frequent defects critical functionality integration test case so basically while we are performing regression testing we have to uh, we have to focus on these three sections like what is the test cases which have frequent defect so what what generally happen like every uh, after completing every sprint we have to uh, perform this regression testing but in every 15 days it is not possible to perform end to end testing uh, while doing regression testing so we focus mainly these three points this is the three key areas where we can cover our regression testing so this is the smart way for any qa like test case which have frequent effects or the main functionality critical functionality and integration test cases yeah so retesting what is retesting retesting is testing process whenever dev fix any defect qa has to validate whether the defects passed it earlier are fixed or not so what exactly happened in uh, retesting like uh, uh, we reported any defect to the developer and we got the fixes uh, from the developer and we have to check that we have to validate validate that like this defect is gone or not retesting is running the previously failed test cases again yes retesting ensures that the bug is being fixed completely or not we have basically we have to uh, execute our test cases whenever we got a new build but sometimes we found some issue and our test cases getting failed so the failed test cases we have to execute again once we got a fix fixes from the developer so that is the uh, retesting basically let's understand the difference between regression testing and retesting one by one in regression testing automation testing majorly does regression testing as i covered like in every 15 days that regression testing is not possible like if there is a thousands of test cases that is not possible after uh, each uh, release or uh, every 15 days so we uh, created a regression to suit for automation test cases and we uh, run this uh, suit every every uh, sprint release and in retesting we can't automate retest retesting test cases basically got it recommended before every release yeah recommended after bug fixes so what exactly we got the fixes will from there we have to fix we have to test test this is for past test cases yeah regression testing like what exactly our application is uh, working fine what is the happy flow or we have to check like is anything or is any new defect is uh, facing after getting new functionality added or new fixes so that basically we did in regression and uh, this testing for failed test cases yeah. is it fine so yeah i hope this video is uh, helpful for you and uh, if you have any queries in case like uh, what uh, if you have still any confusion so please uh, add your comments in comment section 
Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye.